from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday, stop stories. He's aware of the funeral and junkano coronavirus protocol violations. And Prime Minister Minnis has concluded that the Bahamians are now letting their guards down and he is taking action. Introducing a resolution in the House yesterday to have the emergency orders in place extended to May 23rd. Here's why he thinks that is necessary. One infection within a funeral or parade, be it by Saxon, Crowley, or anyone else, can set us back to where we came from. The corona numbers have been good in recent weeks, but the competent authority wants to avoid a possible third wave. And he's again urging Bahamians to remain vigilant until they can get that vaccine in place. If we remain vigilant, we will be able to protect our future and our society. The current orders expire on January 31st. The Prime Minister says he understands the pain involved, but feels this is necessary to keep the country safe from that possible third wave. House members will debate the resolution when the House meets tomorrow. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. PLP Chairman Senator Fred Mitchell already reacting to that announcement. He says the PLP believes the extension is a convenient way for the Prime Minister to, in his words, fight an election. Senator Mitchell says nothing has emerged which indicate that the emergency order should be extended and people are now treating the protocols as a nuisance. The Tribune has a complete report on one of those events that violated the Corona Protocols in Tuesday's edition, complete with pictures of the John Cano rush out Family members say they didn't organize that. There's more economic fallout from the virus. Atlanta's now announcing that it's sending some of its workers back home because of the quarantine changes being made by the U.S. Police have charged 24-year-old Fred Lloyd in connection with the death of a teenage girl found in the Marshall Road area earlier this month. She's been identified as 19-year-old Kendi Smith, and the charge against Lloyd is murder. Details of the day's top series in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather Update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Sunny skies today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. Insurance Management wishes everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines the second Donald Trump impeachment is now in the hands of the U.S. Senate. The Democrats sent the article over yesterday, but there is a two-week break before the actual trial begins. Trump is the only U.S. president to be impeached twice. Meantime, President Biden taking more steps to try and get the coronavirus spread in our country under control, signing new quarantine orders and putting more travel restrictions in place. Russian government officials accusing the West of using the Navalny demonstrations in Russia over the weekend to destabilize the country. The President Putin critic remains in custody despite countrywide demonstrations calling for his release. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 391, SO402, Rubus $4.01 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The Tribune Sports shining the spotlight on behaving athletes in track and field in college in the U.S. Despite the corona situation there, the Basketball Federation looking for funding for the FIBA America Cup qualifier. Find out how much money the BBF needs. There's your NBA update in the Tribune Sports. The Lakers get a win in Cleveland. 
And the hype is on for the Super Bowl already. The Bucks and the Chiefs in Tampa. Casey looking to repeat, but Tom Brady is in the way. For all your sports details, check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.